Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I have two quick twin flame reads, one from the 26th and one from the 27th. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. of love and blessings out to everybody. Okay, so the first reading is here. These were both done for today, the 28th. This was done on the 26th. And here's the complete read here for that one. And the second read done yesterday for today is here. And again, we had the full moon yesterday, so we're still in those full moon energies. And then here's the complete read in front of you now. Okay. All right, so this first read, the Syrian starseed deck was cut at 5.05 on the 26th for today, the 28th. We had the full moon yesterday, and today's the last day of February going into March tomorrow. So it's a significant shift here. Five and five have to do with the Hierophant and also the 50 of the Ten of Cups, that emotional fulfillment, as well as change, expansion, freedom, and being childlike. Uh, five At 5.15, even of crystals came up, which crystals references being Christ-like, being even also, balanced. The five and the 15, the Hierophant and the devil, the shadow side. So the God, you know, five also, the Hierophant can represent God as well. So God and the devil, literally, even of crystals being even, like it's like um, between God and the devil is the, the human Christ, okay? So we have the um, completion of this read at 528, which is the Hierophant and the 28 of the two of wands, the twin flames. The major arcana in this read were alchemy, which is the temperance card, and Luna, which is the moon. After the read, because I always pull a few cards on either end of the read, we had abundance and solar deity. So the empress and the sun. By the way, this is a general read for those of you not familiar. It's seven decks. There's a lot of energy on the table. Not all the messages are going to be for you. Um, if you want something more specific, my information is below and on my website at twinflames3344.com. I have a CD out there also called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe if you want to check it out. It's only a dollar for a song, which is a great way to support me and very affordable. And um, if you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Um, bringing up these downloads and epiphanies expand by your comments, by your, we all have pieces of the puzzle and none of us have all of the information. So, and it makes it fun. <laughs> which is the whole point of this, to get a high vibration, to be happy and enjoy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> so it's SpongeBob. All right, so we have um, three pentacles here, two swords, two wands, and two cups. We have the court cards. The only court card in the main part of the read was the page of pentacles. And in the Syrian Starseed deck, it's very much about being curious about your abilities. You know, the student of your own abilities. Before the read, the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands came up. After the read, the Knight of Swords and the King, excuse me, Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups came up. I was just getting croup there too, like the coffee. We had triple twos here in this read, double fives, double sixes, and double sevens. So triple twos is very much the divine feminine energy, the one-to-one, -one, the mediator, the 55 of the truth, the Ace of Swords, the 66 of the Queen of Pentacles, the 77 of the Sovereign, the Nine of Pentacles. The code line, there were no numerology cards on the code line for this read, and the code line number was 5163, so 5,163. And 51 and 63 would be the King of Swords suffering in silence with the Nine of Swords. And the 63 number also comes up in the numerology deck with children about parenting. So 15 is the, the sum of those numbers. And again, the 51 is reflecting the 15 of the devil, the shadow side. And then again, no numerology cards on that code line. The other numbers that came up here were 3222, which is 32 and 22. 
the journey and the fool, the fool's journey. We had two, 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 which I said, 66 and 77 and 55. One, two, three, jump. Five, six, seven, made in heaven. 35 of the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. 12 of the hangman. 23 of the king of wands. 25 of the five of cups. Excuse me, the knight of, of wands. 25 is the knight of wands. And then 710, which is zero behind 71, which is the three of pentacles, the co-creation card. So the code line here with no numerology cards, but the number 15 coming from 5163. And I did look up both 516 and 5163. So I'll let you know the, uh, from the gematria uh, what came up for them. So a 516 gift, perhaps, and also 51 would be written 51 slash 6. So that having to do with the king of swords and the lovers, or perhaps the love for himself. A 516 gift, the full moon, V8. And what came up from 516 is the is Tulsa uh, Gabard, which is um, the first female combat veteran to ever run for president and get elected to Congress. Um, she's a Hawaiian representative, 2013 to 21. So she was coming up as the number one slot on 516. Um, the Lord God's here, Holy Bible, it's great being God, Cheryl, God's chosen children, and this is no dream. That's coming up under 516. A 516 gift, right? That this is real, the dream is real, the full moon V8, right? Have a V8, everything you ever needed that's healthy for you. The number 5163, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's 5163. The second entry was, I got it bad. I am addicted. That really, and it, it's, the word was sipes, but it's supposed to be pisses me off. It was S-S-I-P-E-S. -S -S, so I don't know if they, they scramble the word so they don't get flagged. But I got it bad. I am addicted. That really pisses me off. To tell you the truth, I hate my cell phone. I love too much. The third entry was just stringing random words that sing with alliteration, alliteration making rhyme. If you say anything of the sort, the CIA will come in the school and kill you immediately. That was a very random entry there. And then the last one I wrote down was, who hath drank the blood of my children shall be cast into the abyss for their spells and which... And... Oh, wickedness. I thought it said witchcraft, but it actually said wickedness. And that was all from 5163. And then I looked up, for some reason, Q came up by accident when I put in 516. So I looked up Q516 to see what come up. And nothing major except for Q came up, number one. And then hidden, and then PDF, uh, meme, Malik, or Malik, and then Lo, Pia, Amelia, Bobby, Luna, and um, I, God, that all came up under Q516. So Q and the 516, which is the King of Swords. So um, VO came up as one of the um, acronyms here. And V is, for me, is the creation letter. And zero is the human embodiment of source. And when I looked up um, in Wiktionary, which is how I get all of my definitions, because they give you definitions from around the world, all the languages, um, a VO is from of the letter V to be worth you, and then ox, which you notice is O-X, hugs and kisses, to wash and to make into a ball. So a hierophant suddenly present at the full moon with hugs and kisses. An alliteration of flames at the full moon from V, creation, to be worth hugs and kisses, or the ox, right, the workhorse, to make it into a ball, okay? The light of the full moon, from creation to kisses and hugs, at a ball, perhaps a dance. A hierophant magician, the magi, the lover's gift of the full moon in Virgo, leaving the rest to your imagination. A king of swords, suffering in silence, of drama at the full moon, V8. And that can be the creation dance. So we start this first read with the five of pentacles reversed. 
Beneath it is the Queen of Swords reversed, the Knight of Wands reversed, the Two of Wands upright, the Five of Swords reversed, and the Ten of Swords upright. So the Queen of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. Twin flames post-war, ending pain and betrayal, recovering from exile, dumping a load, a burden, or their responsibilities. With the wounded warrior still guarding eight to nine of their wands of deception of the King of Wands reversed, who is recovering, or the King of Wands dumping on the wounded warrior and then letting them back in. And that's kind of like that, uh, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, I don't know. It'll come up if it's meant to. But, um, you know, that uh, kind of bait and switch energy where you, you know, you dump someone, then you let them back in when it's convenient for you or when you need something. Or the hermit is recovering alone. And then the king of wands reverse wants to join them. Or dumping 10, but then picking up nine more as soon as you get rid of everything. So never getting rid of all your responsibilities. As soon as you get rid of them all, nine more show up. After conflict settling out with impatient Scrooge, the King of Pentacles post-war, weak and not aroused, nor amused by the truth at 627, which is the lovers and the Ace of Wands ignited. Perhaps a pet making noise upstairs, about to cut through the crown, tap dancing and kids running around presenting the truth of their living situation, kids and pets out of control perhaps. Uh, blue circles or caps, and red cylinders or top hats, her side, his side, and the truth in recovering from two out in the cold at 633, and that's the way 33 would be written as well, 33-6, the Christ vibration and the seven of wands, standing up for yourself. Grounding and integrating, Cancer, Sag, and Leo all reversed, and Libra reversed, Cancer, another Cancer is upright here, in a bold move to deal with injustice of lying and spying and rumors and or negative self-talk. Libra page of swords reversed, keeping the dogs or kids in line or yelling at them to wait in the car or leaving an immature child with the dogs, right? Not such a smart idea here. Cancer upright and Libra reversed and no message or bad news between them. Children come up here and beneath it was chemistry as the underlying energy in implementing a plan to invest with someone else, a new passion since all business relationship is not working in a losing battle with flame involved and confession only because got caught with their pants down after the fact or divine masculine's partner with third party and got caught and things found upstairs in the attic or the rafters that shouldn't be there a mirror a chalice a sword and metalwork scrolls and such or stolen materials or someone got caught cheating whether now or long ago, and the other can't get the image out of their head. Patience is number two, which is the high priestess, and beneath that, love partnership, number 26, the page of wands. Needing patience after dealing with a page of wands love partnership, which would be immature, right? The page of wands is a child. The page of the five of pentacles reversed is recovering and finding a way out to connect with cancer or in connection that possibly made the ground move for you or driving you to emotional limits or tip or tipping a load or dumping a load the page of pentacles with their eye on a strange bird the queen of cups reversed dumbo looking up her dress or a dress and kermit and miss piggy and no lunar no more lunar cycle or the page of pentacles wanting to assist with fixing a leak in the roof Unable to forget peacock eyes showered with love. The Queen of Cups reversed, recovering and presenting the truth to the Page of Swords reversed by dumping a load and being patient. In a falling out from the past, feeling guilty and wanting to make peace by making a call and or an announcement, a wake-up call. Issues at work and not getting sleep at 656, the lovers and the Two of Swords. Perhaps withholding from the wizard and the sealed divine feminine. Um, in the recent past here, and that's going forward, the recent past here is the alchemy card reversed. Impatient, losing patience, as the Knight of Pentacles is offering help to the Sovereign, offering them passion and growth and creativity. In separation with the Page of Cups or Message of Love, in breaking patterns and detoxing insecurities, 
and in need of tools to grieve in the downturn and implement a new plan with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, impatient with two kids, and then the kids helping each other, not, you know, not to rely on the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The foundation here is the Seven of Swords upright, passing downloads, an overdone emotional cycle with the Empress upright and the King of Cups reversed, impatient fallen angel, and the Page of Pentacles reversed with Taurus upright and Sag reversed, which can be, you know, a child who needs help with their homework or someone who never learns or can't get a project off the ground. Taurus upright, Sag reversed. And the central energy here is the Six of Swords, finding peace on a boat or by the water, making a getaway to detox from the Knight of Cups offering love to the awakened one who's depressed or being arrogant, the emperor reversed or depressed due to the emperor reversed. Capricorn and Aquarius and Aries all reversed and Scorpio upright in a sudden event, kicking everyone out perhaps or ghosting them, clearing the decks before the Knight of Cups approaches them. The challenge being the Three of Wands upright, being present to the flame. And all this first part's at 732, which is the chariot and the journey or journeyman. The chariot in a bold move to connect with the twin flames, presenting the truth to secret passion, making them happy, and third-party issues in social life and workplace, defenseless to energies and attacks, rising above, awakening, and coming out. At 7 then 38, which is then the Queen of Cups, in a passionate energetic exchange, no surprise, the King of Wands reversed in a falling out or a negative past, and no love with the Emperor reversed at home, with Hermit upright and the Devil reversed, or Virgo upright and Capricorn reversed, in an energetic exchange, expression of love perhaps, um, or just a lot of back and forth in communications and travel, with the King of Swords reversed after death or just dead tired of making decisions, or to the King of Cups going back to the X with a dark past. Now, in the present moment, crowning is the Two of Cups upright connection, the messenger of truth in a hit and run, making them sad, choosing a path to hold their tongue on the journey of good news, under the radar, ending the conflict, knowing and keeping to themselves. The harsh truth of sexual abuse without physical reunion. Flirtation and no casual sex. The Knight of Swords cracking the whip with the kids. Needing courage, the Queen of Wands reversed, announcing or judging and exposing all. To sharing or settling the score, perhaps. She is the Queen of Wands reversed. The Wounded Warrior fantasizing, seeing synchronicities but failing to rescue. The Knight of Swords dumped on in a falling out and sudden epiphany or crown blown and the Hermit is shedding light on it. The Queen of Swords reversed could be a Libra or Virgo with Libra in chart and or Scorpio upright in Sagittarius here and the Hermit's light on at home detoxing the energetic exchange with the King of Swords reversed, Dark Knight, choosing Akashic records or clearing their past or clinging to his past. Soon is the Page of Pentacles reversed, in need of help, needing tools to learn their, their abilities. The Knight of Wands reversed player falling short. Pride comes before a fall. Needing to swallow their pride to be chosen above all others. The King of Pentacles overworking or not working out at home with back pain or painful ending and strategizing a post-war plan. Defensive to the energies of the King of Wands reversed, um, knowing and keeping to themselves after an offer of passion to the King of Pentacles or the King of Wands reversed knows their secret. And maybe that was the problem with leaving them because as soon as they break the commitment with this person who would then be pissed at them, maybe then they would let their secrets out. The twin flames, the ace of flames upright, the flame ignited after death, near death, or just in, and being dead tired, in the never-ending story of release. The King of Swords reversed in uncomfortable energies at present with the world complete and the sealed divine feminine in dreams of sugar plum fairies dancing in his head or Pisces holding on to the Queen of Pentacles reversed or keeping savings away from her. You deserve love and express your love around the twins is the Six of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed in an energetic exchange, and that could be negative words between a mother and their children, with the Hierophant reversed, um, 
which can be just breaking away from anything that's traditional or typical to societal norms. This can be being spiritual or outside the box or a divorce or a break from a religion or establishment, withholding from a Gemini or Virgo reversed, the monkey in the middle at 7.55, and 55 has been coming up a lot. I woke up at um, 55 this morning as well. 7.55 is the chariot and the 55, the truth, the Excalibur. And I think I, you know, when I opened my iPad, I saw something about it, an old chariot being found from 2,000 years ago. So that's very interesting coming up. In the middle, playing hardball with red coats, in direct energetic exchange with the magician reversed, which may be your own insecurities. The block here for the twins is the Luna, the full moon, the deception and implementing a plan, the post-war strategy, the fenceless to the king of wands reversed, who can just be someone who's tired or sick and tired or really angry, you know, or abusive, choosing dark past or the grim reaper with the queen of pentacles reversed and sovereign obsessing over her and Scorpio walking the path. Nature, even more so here for the twins, comes up nature, spirituality, and love. The Divine Feminine's heart opening up to the Knight of Wands reversed, detoxing Sagittarius reversed, Virgo upright, and Capricorn reversed, in an energetic exchange or lots of communication and travel with the King of Swords, Dark Knight, choosing their path. The Divine Feminine inspired to the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, which is one of wealth and abundance, and perhaps not sleeping well. And I can attest to that. I haven't been slept. My sleep has been really off no matter what. I keep waking up at like between 6 and 7, even if I go to bed really late. So I haven't been getting quite enough sleep. Um, passing 5D messages after the kids unload on her. Epiphanies at the E-Tower with Hermit, Queen of Swords, Libra, perhaps, and 5D messages to the twin flames, breaking patterns of looking outside themselves. The Empress upright, in their abundance, the Knight of Cups upright, loves, together in the sunshine, on a boat to nowhere, exposing all, the mother taking the child home or to the airport. The Empress with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups fully energized, in peace going home, recovering with truth and passing downloads, to flames with a negative past, an impatient Sagittarius are no longer patient and moving to peace. The challenge being present to the flame, in need of help at the full moon, deception, or up before dawn. Two of Cups connection at the E Tower coming out with 5D messages removing the mask as the Empress and the Knight of Cups in the sun in peaceful waters. The twin flames done stretching from frog to prince and ending pain, recovering and losing patience with the Queen of Cups reversed, passing risky business and moving to calm waters, challenged by the gift of the moment, the flame ignited in connection with one another. One big flame and in need of help, in a falling out with twin, deceiving her heart, now opening up again, passing 5D messages without giving it all up to the Empress and the Knight of Cups offering love, and exposing all in the sun at 811, strength and justice, which is truth and balance. So peace for the two of cups, that one-on-one -on -one connection, as the flame is ignited, the, twin, the divine feminine messenger of truth, knight of swords, breaking patterns, with mother and son now exposed, or perhaps on vacation. All right, so reading number two done yesterday. Okay, so this is now the one in front of you. Um, we cut the Searing Starseed deck here at 614. 6 is the Lovers, 14 is the Temperance card, but that's actually the first day I actually reached out to my twin. I always tell you 7-2 is the day I physically met my twin, but I reached out on 614 and he replied for the first time on 615, which is the 14 of the angel, the temperance card, and the 15 of the devil. And then 7-2 being the chariot and the high priestess. So at 625, which is the lovers and the knight of wands, X of orbs came up. And orbs has to do with your thoughts and words, but also blind men and orphans. The X of the blind men or orphan. At 629 is the lovers and the three of wands being present to BS and finish clarifying this at 641 which is the lovers and the ace of cups. We have the Luna moon here of course we had the full moon yesterday 
I don't know what time it was or if it goes in today or not. I didn't look up the time. And it's 11.41 on the clock. As I just said, we finished this read at 41. So Luna, which is the moon, transition, the death card, which are both in this read. The transition card is the center card here. It literally in the Styrian star sea deck is going through the portal at the full moon. That is the main energy from this read. Before the read, we had the higher self, ascension, which is the world, lovers, and reflection, which is the hermit. After the read, reason, or the emperor, came up. We had three wands, two cups, three swords, and one pentacle. The knight of wands, the king of cups, and the knight of swords all came up within the read. After the read, the page of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the page of wands, and the queen of swords all came up. We had double ones and double sixes in this read. The double ones of justice, 11, and 66 is the queen of pentacles. Justice for the queen of pentacles. Also, the four of the emperor comes up, and the sequence, six, seven, eight, lay them straight. Lay them straight. Again, there was no numerology card on the code line here for both of these reads. The numbers that came up were mm, two, um, one, six, which added to seven, which is the chariot, but also 41 and 76 in a lesser sense were coming up, which add up to 117, 117. So really all about the sevens, though. And 41 was just coming up on the clock as the ace of cups, the self-love, spiritual love, and new love. And the 76, which is the, the um, eight of pentacles, right, working to align. And the seven from one and six, which is the magician and the lovers, magician embodiment. So the code line here, uh, first the other numbers that came up, 31, 32, 31 came up, which is the, the uh, seven of wands and then the five of wands. So the journeyman and then the expansion of the journey, the 11 of justice, 66 of the queen of pentacles, as I said, the four of the emperor, and the six, seven, eight, but also 16 of the tower, 14 of the temperance card, the angel, 46 of the children in the garden, and Gethsemane has been coming up this week, and that's the six of cups, and then 67, which is the loyal, humble servant, the knight of pentacles. So one of two, bridge left, and that came up the other day as well, going to the left, the divine feminine, to dig, grub, or burrow, and ace, the knight of wands, chariot, lovers, perhaps in Delaware. It was very interesting because Delaware came up in the code line, and then I was getting a download of For Lovers, which is Virginia, and it's so weird because both my brothers just um, got new places by their kids. And one is in Delaware, and the other one's in West Virginia, but still Virginia. So it's just very um, interesting that that was coming up. So that may be a message for some of you out there. The, knight, um, the one of two bridge left to dig, grub, burrow, and ace the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles, perhaps taking possession of properties, like I said, or composing. Um, also, this could be related to... A noblewoman or dame, D-A-M-E, or dame was coming up here, which references a lady, your girlfriend, a female knight, a noble woman. Also two of the high priestess, the feminine, the tall, the day, the long high, always to be, right and southern. One of two lovers, support, the icy bridge, left, right, it's a slippery slope to the left, to the feminine, to hunker down and ace the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles, right? The passionate one and the practical one. To be tall and southern, the female knight, the noble woman, the dame, the dom, and taking possession of lovers, perhaps in Delaware, but Virginia is for lovers. So we have the reading here starting with Luna reverse, the moon, at 7.02. Beneath Luna, reversed, was the higher self upright, ascension reversed, the lovers reversed, the ace of wands upright, and reflection, which is the hermit reversed. Ascension is the world. We have the higher self, the divine feminine in the 5D world, without affection or in a non-physical love relationship, and inspired to come out, or Pisces with the world reversed, upside down, in a breakup with new passion for over-isolating, third party offering passion. 
at um, and then at 7:38 I continued on there after a bit of a break. 7:38, seven is the chariot. 38 is the queen of cups. Third party offering passion, temptation, moving with the empress reversed, drained with the ten of pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, dysfunction or loss, over isolating, going crazy, or coming out. There's Pisces upright and reversed here, as well as Gemini or lovers reversed, and Virgo reversed, and Capricorn upright, and then Taurus, Leo, and Cancer all reversed, all right here. In a death, ending, lies, and divide, the Queen of Swords reversed in uncomfortable energies, grieving loss and reaping rewards. Twin peaks beneath the surface of the constant gardener assessing their growth. Two for two is a wash under the heat of five or indoor green room. Scorpio upright falling out with soulmate or kids in a negative past or bad memories. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed in exile preparing for a new life, saving, magnetizing, creating a charge as the snow melts and the yard is a mess, calling in your soulmate and beneath that worth waiting for. Overwork, closing the distance gap with new love, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, powerless, or with dependent and fool who's free to leap. Aries is upright here, and music comes up as 32, the journey, and beneath that is new beginnings, number one. So after new beginnings comes the music. Insecure magician reversed without the tools and powerless to the king of swords reversed or dependent king of swords reversed, overworking, not working, or not sleeping, rising, awaking, and tempted by the holy grail with the ten of pentacles, family, business, or community of the queen of pentacles reversed. The squirrel into the juice and the turtle is slow to leave. The strange animal obsessed with the treasure. The rats into the cups too, sniffing around the hot money, or the Queen of Pentacles reversed, a target for unscrupulous types. The Queen of Pentacles reversed with Cancer Moon reaping rewards and magnetizing freedom for fool, insecure without the tools. And that could be physical tools or just not the tools, you know, to deal with their emotions. So the Holy Grail and the hot devil ignited to let go and spend a little, but not telling their true motives. The Six of Pentacles, sharing or settling out with the Page of Swords message to the High Priestess or secret in a heated exchange with Leo or being strong and not expressing true desires at 805, which is the Strength card and the Hierophant or the expansion, freedom and change. Imprisoned or the journey to take Sovereign off the market. In the recent past is the Ace of Cups, new love, the wounded warrior present to the King of Pentacles, upright, receiving love from one without options, but to run from or take from the Queen of Swords reversed and the Emperor. The Knight of Pentacles offers help away from an unhappy family, deceiving and dropping the ball or taking off the mask with the Three of Cups reversed, social distancing or third party, wounded warrior, or just bad influences around them. The foundation here is the King of Cups, presenting the truth to Cancer Reverse, or triumphing over the state of emergency, the fight or flight situation. The Two of Cups is upright, connecting and destined, as Libra is upright and Cancer Reverse in unconditional love, perhaps together. The central issue being the transition and the portal at the heart of the matter. The Queen of Wands reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed perhaps could be the wicked stepsisters healing from an announcement. They are powerless to, or dependent on, starting over, but no longer bored, at least. Perhaps the Queen of Swords reversed has been cheating with the King of Pentacles, challenged by the Knight of Wands reversed player falling short, and the Emperor greedy or scroogey and not telling about patient angel of a higher love, grieving and depression, but the worst now over, with bliss making him satisfied now. The Page of Pentacles student, or an opportunity for work, and the emperor present to romantic tie with the empress reversed, magnetizing the patient angel not working out with the ten of pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, dysfunction or loss, or misuse of or misappropriations of money, without an option going crazy with an opportunity but drained by the devil, the ball and chain present, or Leo reversed and Capricorn upright present, 
Now is the Knight of Swords reversed, holding their tongue, keeping to themselves the Knight of Pentacles, helping the journeyman. The pa patient and satisfied, but without peace, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, hostage of conflict, pursuit of happiness, and competition. Strong armed by Leo or Ego, and the Knight of Cups offering love, not working in a breakup with lover, death of deception of reaping rewards of the King of Wands. After jealous rage or constant drama with synchronicities and options and energy vampiring, sexually at home with the King of Swords no longer on the fence and being watched, avoiding sudden changes, hanging out to find peace, showing or sharing and settling out, holding their tongue defenseless to the energies and attacks or feeling ganged up on. With the Hermit reversed and the Page of Pentacles needing a vacation, from the devil or perhaps their codependencies and the need to be present. Soon is the seven of pentacles, the divine feminine's heart in the E-tower, the page of wands reversed and the knight of wands reversed, who could be kids, but frustrated, perhaps one is defensive and one is depressed or arrogant, the high priestess divine feminine in the 5D, and free or Pisces or Viking princess and Aries fool with the divine feminine in the 5D between them. The Page of Cups reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed may be suffering in silence in a nightmare in a clash of the Titans, the Twin Flames being the Eight of Swords, hiding from the Hierophant and the King of Cups. The Page of Cups reversed rejected and strong, or with Leo or Pet. The synchronicities of the King of Swords not sleeping or awake and rising above Taurus and the King of Cups, or Taurus king of cups and leo page of cups reversed or child afraid of dogs and or cats or some kind of animal here it is safe to love true love this is a romance of a lifetime and then separately came up keep an open mind and reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life around the twins or how they're seen is the four of wands reversed the unstable home dumping a load a burden or responsibility to start over again the Knight of Cups offering love, knowing Libra or knocking Libra for a loop or breaking patterns of injustice and, and breaking patterns of needing to fight injustice as opposed to having faith and letting the universe handle the imbalance. Breaking the patterns of injustice and sitting on the fence. The block here for the twins is the Six of Wands, uncomfortable with instability when leading the way right? Needing a real strong foundation or stability when you're leading the way, right? Knowing there's something to go home to. Um, depressed, the Page of Cups reversed and the, nine of wand, the Knight of Wands reversed. That can be the twins or that can be children, but both reversed, one feeling rejected, one feeling they're falling short, present to the devil, draining their energy, or Leo reversed and Capricorn upright, present. Finding peace with the ending to a family or a negative emotional cycle, and holding on and being practical, perhaps saving. The Two of Cups lovers uninspired or frustrated or with a problem child. Um, rebirth comes up here. And even, well, this, both of them are very significant. Rebirth and self-discipline. And remember, self-discipline, the word discipline in itself means being the disciple of self. It shouldn't have a negative connotation. It's just about relying on yourself for the last word. For peace with the emperor, the page of pentacles, and the king of pentacles, which can be father and child, along with the page of wands reversed and the queen of swords reversed, spreading the word or perhaps advertising, but that could be something negative, negative advertising. The emperor, page of pentacles, and the king of pentacles are good, but the Page of Wands reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed have to step it up, perhaps. Up before dawn, the King of Cups hiding instability of a home or a move, new love transition, and challenged by the Knight of Wands reversed, paralyzed Divine Feminine's heart, leading the way but holding their tongue to keep the peace with the Emperor, Page of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles, along with the Page of Wands reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed here. A breakup igniting lunacy at the full moon, and deception with new love, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups upright transitioning, with the Knight of Swords reversed and challenged by the Knight of Wands reversed. And that could be two children who are being difficult. Hiding in the Divine Feminine's heart, 
moving, visiting on journey of peace, with the emperor curious about their new abilities and the king of pentacles frustrated with the queen of swords reversed. At 842, being strong in the two of cups energy here. And the two of cups was upright in this read. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards here for you guys. Now that we're on the other side of the full moon, the dark side of the moon, right? Because now we're, we are waning down to the new moon. Time to just release whatever got released at the full moon. It's like, you know, the downslide back into the new cycle again. So for everybody watching the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know and learn for the twin flames here? Let's clear our blocks. The positive energy flows. <sighs> Take another deep breath. In all chakra layers, or auric layers, grounding and galactic cords, across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and reality, for the highest good of all those concerned, and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Whoop. Oh, wow. The whole deck just fell all over the place. <laughs> and what I'm left in my hand with is at the bottom is the broken heart. So let's see where this goes from here. Let's get all these cards. They're flipping all over the place. There's some definitely some random um, energy here. All right, let's see what comes up now. Twin Flames, what is our takeaway from these reads today? Today being February 28th, the last day of February, going into March, going into spring. What is our takeaway from this read today? All right. The garden and the gate, okay? The anxieties about leaving the home, you know, after having hunkered down for so long. And the butterflies tempting you to come out and play and now having some concerns about coming out. And remember the four of wands was reversed here. And this could be someone having anxieties about leaving the home or moving or any changes that need to be done. There could be work being done on the house as well. Um, the bottom of the deck is the community, the seven of the chariot ascending. So the stability of the community ascending and beneath it, the angel of love, the getting your wish card, the nine of cups, which is upright in this read. So giving yourself self-love no matter what with the support of the community ascending. And then what came out was the garden, the gate. So a little bit of insecurity or, or now letting go of those anxieties that you once had or perhaps that a child once had about moving or changing your environment in some way. And then these three cards came out together with the 41 again which is the um, self-love, spiritual love, new love. But again, she's got her crowning moment, but she's not happy. And why is that? And that's going to be different for each person. And then we have the 44 of the one who's bored, grounding and integrating, mastering of love. So, you know, they've had enough of that. So it's like no longer having the fear of coming out of the house because now they've had enough of it. They've seen that. They've examined as much as they're going to examine. And then we have the 33, and you notice we have the 3344, which is my business number. That's interesting. So we have the 33 of the Christ vibration, the seven of wands, which is standing up for yourself, taking the high ground. Only you have the key to your heart. Only you can let your heart out of the cage. The door to romance is opening the doors. Just standing up for yourself. What is it that you want, right? Maybe before you never really worried about what you wanted. You always just went with what other people wanted. And now it's time for you to step it up because you weren't satisfied with other what other people wanted for you, right? To know your own mind, to know your own heart. This is the door to romance, to authenticity and relationship. The power numbers of the 33 and the 44, the Christ vibration, the mastering, and the love. Loving yourself, this is what loving yourself first means. Right? When you become authentic to your true self is when you can draw in the most balanced partner that is authentic to you. When you're polarized and not in your authentic self, you draw in people who can be opposite to you to teach you certain lessons so that you can let go of the polarities and merge more towards the middle as you go forward. 
which is what's happening here, right? No longer with anxieties or fears, having understood and seen what it is to follow somebody else's dream and not your own, to know what it feels to follow somebody else's heart and not your own, and being authentic to you no matter what, which will always be what's best to serve you well. All right, let's see what the um, ro what Romance Angels has to say here. What fell over? Oh, one of my rocks. Well, maybe I'm supposed to show you this rock since it fell down. I'm not sure which one this one is. Maybe that's supposed to help you. Let's see what it looks like. I forget what this one's called. But it definitely helps to clear. Most of the dark stones are very helpful to um, if you keep in your left pocket to help block negative energies from getting in and there's some very grounding colors in there as well you know the browns and tans oh so it's reminding us to put boundaries in place right in order to be authentic you have to have boundaries because otherwise you get dragged into what other people want you know being a people pleaser so let's see what the journey of love has to say for us today. <sighs> the heart of God. There's that nine. <laughs> what, when, the, when the cards fell, it was the heart of God. Nine, the hermit. Right, Going within and connecting to your higher self, to your God consciousness. And I feel like someone busts, you know, this is like busting through a wall, you know? Breaking down the... Um, the superficial parts to get to the meat of it, right? The structure of the home. That the, the coverings aren't what's important. It's the, the strength of the structure that's important that survives the distance, you know. The long haul is what I'm getting. The underlying energy here is the yin-yang lover, the balance and the dance, right? The dance back and forth between your divine feminine and masculine. Not, it's not for the feminine to bend over backwards to please everybody else. It's a dance, a balance. Not for her to always be flexible. It's like, you know, it looks nice and smooth and it looks it's so interesting and cool. Brings the humanness into this with the hair. But also it's like a, a distorted version of the truth. It's not true, right? Because the vortex doesn't look like this. There's interference within the, in the vortex when you bend over backwards because then it's no longer balanced. It takes both the masculine and the feminine to create balance. And then the light fields behind it. There's that 63 of the suffering and silence, feeling the light coming in, the stress to your body, being on the middle of the bridge, sitting in the middle of the fence, right? Sitting on the fence, not going either way, absorbing the light field as the feminine bending over backwards, right, to do that work. So we have the heart of God, which was that heart that came up with the nine and the hermit. And it's busting, you notice it's busting through all of the reddish colors, which is the root chakra and going into the sacral chakra up to the heart of it, getting to the heart of the matter the heart of God. So these, all these cards came out for you. The 52 of the Ancient Ones, which is the Queen of Swords. Let me move the light a little bit so it's not so reflective. Okay. So here's again the light coming into the Divine Feminine, which is the second time is this being shown. The 52 of the Queen of Swords, her purpose to absorb the light, to pass it on to the masculine. The masculine may see her as doing nothing but she's working very hard. The sensual awakening of the 64, which is the 10 of swords. The playing with the colors. And again, this is like the press of the heart, the chambers of the heart and the printing press. That there's two sides of this, right? There's two sides of processing this, this energy. And again, this is like the eight, okay? The balance of the infinity here that on each side is a heart that has a purpose. And for the feminine, it's to absorb the light. 
she's the ancient one, the 52, the queen of swords with the light, processing this light into the human experience in a sensual awakening of pain and release. The ten of swords is the pain, the extreme pain, and then the release of the pain, the bliss, in order to learn bliss and learn the dance. And this is the card that comes up for um, Linda and Paul McCartney on the record album, going into the vortex, learning to go through the vortex, which is the painful part, right? The going through the cyclone to get to the safe place in the middle and learning how to do that in a balanced way, walking hand in hand, the dance of the planets, the 56, the being in your knowing and keeping your energies pure. All right, so going from the feminine collecting the light to joining of hearts, the merging of the energy bodies to do the dance, to come through the cyclone, to walk hand in hand into the vortex. Across the waters, the 23 of the King of Wands, where sometimes you may not see eye to eye and the feminine stands alone within the wall that's disturbing. And then the 32, which is the opposite of that, 23 to 32, which is the journey of simplifying it, right? Not feeding into the story. Why did he leave me behind? Crossing the waters, the emotional waters of the King of Wands and planting something new in the spring, keeping it simple and focusing on the little things in life, the beautiful little things, the devotion to the small, being in the moment, saying hello to the flowers and the sun, and breathing that fresh air, keeping it simple. It's very black and white, very simple, when you devote yourself to the small on the journey. And then the 17 of the star and shining your light, and finding that there's smooth sailing in that. And you notice it's very much the third eye and the crown energies here of the purples, and the blues as well as speaking your truth, being authentic having your dreams come true, healing and dreaming and shining your light, being the star of your own life. All right, so it's very much about the progression of the Divine Feminine here. Receiving the light, processing it through the heart, and sensual awakening of pain and release, which is the bliss, the bliss of coming together and merging into magician embodiment across the waters and also learning what it means to let go of the story of the Divine uh, excuse me, the King of Wands walking away for no reason. And then going your, you can go your own way, right? Turning your, then turning back to yourself and planting a new flower, keeping it very black and white, staying present in the moment to the beauty of our world for smooth sailing, her grace. I was just getting Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly had a house in Ocean City, New Jersey. It's like processing from the trauma of, of receiving the light to learning how to process it all without becoming flustered, right? She goes from the light, receiving the light, which is traumatic, to this beautiful, smooth sailing and being graceful, being in her truth to being the star and shining her light and all of the colors in between, right? Painting the story of her life very much about the, the feminine here. Okay, so the heart of God is number nine. And it says, you are part of something profound at 5340, the Knight of Swords, Messenger of Truth, and the Page of Cups, the Innocence of Love. You are part of something profound, the divine calling and privilege. It is the role of the inspiratrix or inspirator upon this earth, the women and men who have hearts capable of bliss. Bliss is what we feel when we let God in, the heart opens and we cannot speak for the sensation of it. It cannot be described. Great hearts can tolerate mystery. They can bear the enormity of divine bliss beyond analysis and description and simply be. You don't have to do anything with it, you see. To be the inspiration is to have an open heart or a heart open to the divine. It's a life calling. Your heart is an inspirational force to be loved, recognized and protected for the precious catalyst of divine awakening that it is. Be led by your heart. God is in it, speaking through it, calling you forth to love. And the love that flows through your heart filters out through your toes, dripping on those beneath you as stars falling from heaven. 
I am in heaven. This is um, the green mile. <laughs> the green mile. There's spirit's so funny, right? The green mile is the heart, the green. Walking the green mile, right? From your heart to, to God. I'm in heaven. <laughs> so filters out through your toes, dripping on those beneath you as stars falling from heaven. This oracle holds a message for you direct from the divine. You have a sacred purpose to fulfill upon this earth, and it's all sorted out. This situation, this issue, this awakening that you seek and are living even now is held lovingly in the hands of the divine creator. The creator says to you, leave it with me. It's all unfolding in perfection. I am alive in your heart. I am your heart. And, this, and the poem here reads, When souls are touched with love sublime and hearts unleash the wonder found, a promise made somewhere in time, of words that speak without a sound. In gratitude we transcend space and bless the gifts we now can keep. Of thoughts caress and soft embrace and eyes aloud in joy to weep. The moment song that we compose will leave this life with no regret and carry forth what we impose to chart again a course once, met, once set. For what we have is ours to own, each breath a step we measure sweet Together now we wait alone and walk in peace, our hearts complete. I want to read her grace to you as well, which is number 17. The goddess is awakening within your life. It may be within your own body, within a sensual deepening of relationship with your own body, or with the body of another through expanding creativity, a sudden burst of feeling that you cannot logically explain, a desire to move, to dance, to express yourself, to sing, to write music, to draw, to play in nature, to swim and collect shells and lie on your back in the moonlight gazing at the stars. Let her reach you. She is calling to you from ancient times, calling you to allow her more deeply into your life. Celebrate the divine feminine. She is coming to life for you. Whether man or woman, your life is about to be touched by her magic, never to be the same again. This oracle brings you a message. There is a woman who brings divine blessing into your life, who is trying to connect with you more deeply. The blessing may be one that is obvious or one that is hidden in a challenge. The woman may be your own body, if you are female, or your own inner feminine, if you are male. It may be your spiritual or physical being, the great mother, your lover, your sister, or your dearest friend. It may be a woman as yet unknown to you, but who holds a soul contract with you, an agreement predestined to awaken you. The empowerment will come to you not by rejecting what is offered by this feminine presence, but by embracing it and finding your truth through it. This is exciting because it means you are growing. You are entering into the feminine temples of wisdom and finding a home there. And here's the poem. And by the way, the mailman just pulled up. I was born long before our time and yet my time with you is something new. For you awaken in me a spirit that was longing for release, waiting for your touch. I thought I was safe to stay inside the boundaries and walls I carried with me. You touched all of me, and we walked outside the lines together. Make sure to drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. You guys have done so amazing. Look how far you've come. Everything is well in every moment, and you know this. And so keep going, and rise and be love. I'll see you soon. <laughs>